So the total amount of spending in this will be trillions of dollars. In 2023, Stability AI undoubtedly was one of the biggest forces pushing the state of the art forward in generative AI. They were releasing new models every few months. All anyone wanted to talk about was the next version of Stable Diffusion. And now, curiously, that's all gone awry. Ever since Emad left, they've started to skip out on paying their bills to Amazon, which was already giving them better GPU pricing than basically anyone else in the platform. Emad claimed to be starting to work on actually decentralized AI and since nothing has really happened we've heard of slight developments in Stable Diffusion 3 they've released a new product called Stable Artisan which is just kind of a very small update to Stable Diffusion version 3 and curiously Ahmad has resurfaced and is now saying that there are big things he's going to be announcing at another one of these kind of crypto conferences turned AI conferences because now that's just the trendy thing to do. So what is Ahmad maybe talking about? What has been sort of leaked around this that we can speculate about? Is Stability AI really back or are they really just on the brink of being the next dead AI company? Welcome to AI Flux, let's get into it. So a few days ago, Ahmad tweeted this, uh, will be some interesting announcements, side eye emoji, looking forward to being in Singapore to ramp actually open AI. Now, the irony here is that Ahmad actually, before even starting Stability AI, was someone who predominantly worked on crypto projects. Why the AI conference has to be in Singapore when Singapore also happens to be one of the more open and forgiving countries when it comes to crypto projects. A question for another video. So, but it looks like he's claiming that something big is going to be announced. And most of the comments are people who are associated with kind of a single project. And we'll get into what that project is later. But this uh, conference, Super AI, which I'm sure just used to be some crypto conference, says that they can't wait to delve deep into AI with Imad Mustak and that he is a key proponent of decentralized AI, which again, there's some projects that really have some merit to this. There are others that are just trying to create another coin or another way to just uh, sell off your GPU. The company behind generative AI tool, Stable Diffusion, catch him on the stage next month in Singapore. So we're gonna have to wait a while. However, I think we have some strong ideas as to where this might be going. Now, if anything, Imad was really good at finding relatively affordable GPUs for stability to use. He had some interesting ideas as to what the direction for generative AI should be. Uh, some would say that the best ideas of those had to do with the balance of regulation, safety, and openness relative to releasing all of the weights publicly. And ironically, the best idea out of Stability AI since, and they actually haven't changed this policy since our last video, is selling open weights uh, with some kind of new license and then, and still claiming they're at the forefront of open source generative AI, which uh, given the trend of Sam Altman and what might be being released on Monday and his comments this week on uh, registering all of your GPUs and all the models running on them, we have to hope that the trend going forward isn't that. But I mentioned there is a specific crypto project that I think Imad might be kind of partnering with. And like all crypto projects, now granted, I'm not really any one which way with crypto. Send your money however you want. But the funny thing is a lot of these projects on Twitter, uh, they're so busy trying to tell everyone what they should buy that they spill the beans on things that maybe other people in their orgs would not have wanted. And I will say there's a spectrum when it comes to projects that deserve more or less respect. You'll, you've known if I've watched my videos, uh, you, I've already kind of spoken as to what those are. Now, there are a lot of projects that look at AI and they look at crypto as just another function of raising money to buy more GPUs, which, you know, isn't the worst strategy. But the thing is, is uh, one of those projects that got a little maybe uh, overexcited was Render. And they have not been necessarily quiet with their interactions with Imad. Uh, Peter Diamandis, who is a guy that early on um, was big in uh, promoting the Ansari X Prize and was big on developing ways you could turn moon dust into water, uh, in his older age has turned to shilling uh, technical projects that claim to do things with the future and now somehow crypto is a part of that. So uh, it's also been known that Imad has been an advisor to the Render project for some time. I don't hold any render because frankly, their whole product is, uh, it's sort of like if you took vast AI and 
a semi-distributed render farm, and then combined it with crypto in a system that only renders for uh, Octane render apps on iPads, then this is kind of what you get. So to say that it's this like groundbreaking project, I just don't really see it. And some would say that their big miss here is that they're freaking out because Samad joined their Telegram group. I think we can just kind of do better than this. But uh, the other thing is they also, in theory, released a kind of a partnership thing. And the irony is someone else on Twitter created what is probably a fake post here, but is uh, the provable partnership between Stability AI and Render. The irony being that Imad, and this is posted on May 7th, the, the irony being that Imad is, is actually at least a month past leaving Stability AI, and they're looking at this as kind of a, a, a wild win. Now it's a win because it means people who in theory, if it's real, um, will be generating stuff with Stability AI and then using render GPUs to pay for it. So to say it's open source or decentralized is still kind of a misnomer because you're still just buying someone else's GPU time. And I think the really open source way of doing this is just using your own GPU because then nothing's going over the internet. You're not having to transact with anyone other than yourself to buy electricity. And yeah, so you know, the, obviously Twitter is loaded with this stuff. Uh, make your own financial decisions. I would say buying render, you know, it, it's it's up to you. But, um, but yeah, but in closing, I, I do want to go over what Stability AI claims they've released here with uh, Stable Artisan, which you know, to call this an incremental release, I mean, this is worse than you know Nvidia releasing the 4070 Super after waiting two years after releasing the 4070 and claiming that they're like wildly different GPUs. So they say here that we are announcing Stable Artisan, bringing the capabilities of Stability AI's developer platform API accessible to a wider audience, featuring our advanced models such as Stable Diffusion 3, Stable Video, Stable Image Core, Stable Artisan enables users to create high quality media within Discord. So basically they just ported their Stable Diffusion 3 API to Discord and in theory you still have to pay for parts of it. And then of course, they're, they're, they're the render shills here um, as well. If anything, the fake render partnership is just, it's a great way for free advertising to come uh, towards Stability AI. And uh, yes, they've not released the weights. There are actually no more new features in this. It, it's literally just a Discord interface for Stable Diffusion 3. And the irony is, and they're, they're, they're aggressing into just doing what uh, Mid Journey did, right? You know, Mid Journey's biggest win, and it, of course this is years ago, and now they're better interfaces. But it was just to say like, why would we build a front end just use Discord? And the irony is that now a feature at an entire release at Stability AI, when they have their own entire interface, is to just ape that <laughs> and make their own. So look, I hope there is a day when we get the weights for Stable Diffusion 3, and I think that day might be coming, who knows when. And I hope to see good things coming from Stability AI. Will they come from Imad? It's hard to say. I think Imad at this point is more on his previous path of just kind of trying to find the next dollar or the next token, and not a token that would be part of a context window, the token that would be just something that would make him money because he can sell his relative influence with his previous association with Stability AI. So I'm very curious because the last time I made anything crypto related on this channel, there was a lot of interesting discussion in the comments. So uh, do you think uh, the crypto space is doing good things for AI? Do you think most of, the, most of it's just grift? Do you think Imad has totally lost the plot? Do you think Stability AI is dead? Uh, anything relative to that, please let me know in the comments below. I'm really eager to see what you guys think. As always, I hope you learned something from this video, and if you like our content, please like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you guys in the next one.